Hi, you've just tuned in. Don't forget to subscribe to the RSS with HD. Turn on the notification and leave your comments. This is the RSS with HD. Hi everyone, welcome to a special edition of the RSS with HD. This is the extended version and aptly um, started starting on the 1st of April and it's no April Fool's joke. Um, of course, joining me as usual is Harish Diol, my cut partner in crime whose hair seems to be shorter than his beard this time around. <laughs> and he's actually, you're, you're definitely going to keep it on until the end of the MCO, yeah? Definitely. How long it uh, grows. <laughs> okay. As you all know, that um, we do have the RSS with HD on Sundays, 2 p.m., where we talk about sports-centric uh, issues. This time around, we're gonna extend it because the MCO obviously has brought up so many issues, and um, we have uh, the a special guest. It's not going to be a guest. It's going to be one of our um, uh, pundits, so to speak, being a Liverpool man. Uh, Mr. Greg Nunes, you, obviously you can get him at, uh, at G Nunes1892. He's the executive um, editor of 2213. So I'm literally surrounded by two guys from 2213 this time around. Um, by the way, happy April Fool's Day. No jokes right now because we've got some serious issues to be talking about. Now, Greg, um, obviously we've been uh, following you since probably the first day of uh, the MCO. When did you start your... Uh, your diaries, you've got your diaries um, that you've been starting. You can see here on the screen, uh, we've got one that says, Hey Doc, try your stunt with the soldiers on Sunday. That's <laughs> a very interesting issue. Um, and obviously you've been doing it daily. Yeah. Uh, you've been, what, forced to or twisted arm? I mean, got to check yeah. with uh, Harish or... or, or... Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's with the story of the, uh, the MCO diaries? Okay, uh, it's... Actually started on the first day itself when our colleague Alam said that we should document what's happening. But instead of doing it in the story form, which everybody will be doing, let's do, it, do something different. So we went ahead with the diaries, tried to inject some humor as well, because as, as you know, once you are trapped in your house or wherever you are, it's going to be boring. So we tried to put in some humor where appropriate. Of course, when we're talking about the number of cases, we can't because that's not very morbid. Mm. But we try to find situations that people can laugh. Like, if you go shopping and men don't know what to buy, the kind of stuff. So we put some humor in and maybe some recipe. It, since bread is also now a very precious commodity. <laughs> and maybe at the end, we wrap up with a song of the day kind of thing. Now, um, Harris, you, you've had a big part in this. Um, yeah. How, why did you got him, why did you get him to do this and, and you know, and obviously he's, you know, you guys write articles anyway, but I've been told yeah. by Little Bird on my right here that he, you've been, uh -huh. uh, you know, he's been writing a lot more than he usually does in the office. Can you explain that? <laughs> uh, first and foremost, um, I, I didn't have a big part to play in this. In fact, uh, I think the guys have been really uh, superb doing it, so it's pretty much an auto cruise. Um, except that uh, while I enjoy Greg's uh, diaries, uploading them is a pain, <laughs> literally, because <laughs> because of the you know uh, many memes and, and and the pictures and stuff like that. But anyway, it's it, it's been fun, um, yeah. Uh, but I, I mean this, this whole uh, diary and and productivity um, it goes to show in a weird way that. Working from home can actually increase the productivity by, you know, threefold, <laughs> literally, <laughs> because we've been doing like one article, and that's that's been our mantra, uh, one article per day. But today, on an average, we are writing like what three articles um, uh, a day, and, and, and sometimes four. And they are, these are all original articles, yeah. They are, they are not press statements or stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's been interesting, uh, indeed. Um, well, 
I tell you what, Greg, um, we had a very interesting um, uh, day yesterday or day before with the uh, Doraemon. Can you, I mean, you, you, you wrote something about that yesterday. Uh, uh, today is April Fool's Day. So April Fool's Day came a day early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as usual in Malaysia when it involves politicians. <laughs> oh, <boy. Every> day. <laughs> and so um, and that's from both sides, uh, not just not just one camp. Both camps are uh, clowns anyway. Well, you know, <laughs> we're, we're we're getting used to this. Um, obviously, um, who's the better politician stroke comedian? Because they're, and not only they're getting comedians out of the job, but during this MCO, comedians really have to. We're we're actually I've I've heard some comedians are. Are raising money for people and um, uh, and by doing free shows. So looks like everyone's all okay. caught up as well. Um, but what, what's 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 the, the the thing for today? What's our dish for today, Greg? What are you looking at? Um, we will continue basically talking about groceries because I just saw an article uh, post by my ex colleague uh, M Zul. He went shopping. You're only given thirty minutes. You got to go in, get your stuff, and check out. It's like the supermarket sweep. So it's like <laughs> so guys who have the list, he said, first five minutes, he stuck to the list. Okay, I got to get this, this, this. And then panic set in, and he just grabbed whatever he could. <laughs> 15 minutes in, they made an announcement. Go to a checkout counter. <laughs> so it's like, it's like actually as if you are in a TV show. You know, if you watch uh, Food Network, which I watch often, as you can see from my food postings. <laughs> so... So it's there, and also we have a special song for Rina uh, Harun today. I will get read it in the diaries. Perfect lyrics for her at her <laughs> ministry. Uh, I, 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 I believe uh, Greg has got uh, plenty of material yesterday and today uh, with regards to we had a minister, um, Zuraida Kamarudin, wearing you know the full protective gear with the word Menteri on her forehead. I mean, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing something like that. I, I think, I, I mean, I mean, to be fair, I, I would like to assume that um, the officials wouldn't want to get her disinfected, you know, <laughs> uh, accidentally. So that's why the label Menteri there. Um, yeah, but I, I, I just don't understand this, this, this comic uh, uh, kind of attitude. And also what Rina Harun said, uh, honestly, it's disrespectful to women themselves. I mean, and to sound like... Yeah, and men. I mean, you, you think what? You, not not all of us are into this Japanese kind of, you know, uh, Doraemon kind uh, of voice. anime. You know, we prefer our women to be. Yeah, we we, we, we prefer our women to be more. <clears throat> uh, what's what's uh, the cough for? <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. Def, def, definitely not uh, Japanese uh, kind of. Ee, 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 you know. So yeah. Oh dear. I mean, it's 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 seriously, it's just insulting, lah. It's so insulting. Uh, you've got, you've got, yeah. you said you've got a perfect song for today, uh, Greg. Um, um, what song is that? And uh, yes, uh, can you describe it? <laughs> it's called uh, Maria Maria Quiet. Hmm. It's a very very old song. I think your grandparents may uh, may know it. Okay. <laughs> you, mean, you mean your grandparents as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Harish's grandparents? My grandparents are dead. So, <laughs> <laughs> so am I. <laughs> yeah, so <it's>... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so okay. I declared, uh, hold on. I... It's... The singer is called, I got the name here, Astro Gibelto. Mm. And I've actually been hearing, I actually have this song in my playlist. <laughs> I... Totally forgot about it yesterday, but it's perfect for Rina Harun. I just give you an example of the lyrics. Uh, my father slept in iron bed, my mother on cold sand. When my father called, my mother would come. Never say a word as if she were dumb. A woman who will talk too much is soon to lose a man. Wow. To Rina Harun and her, and her ministry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving along. Um, <laughs> yeah. right, let's talk a, a little bit more about the uh, phase two uh, uh, of the uh, movement control order, uh, which is starting today. Of, of course, these petrol stations, yes. uh, eateries, grocery shopping is limited from eight to eight eight a.m. to eight p.m. Food delivery yes. delivered to homes from eight a.m. to eight p.m. and public transportation services, including e-hailing, 
um, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, how does this affect uh, generally now from what we've had the, f uh, the first two weeks to the second two weeks? Who wants to start first? Well, well um, I just have one. Okay. Sorry, lagging. Yeah. But I, say, I just have a question. They said it finishes at 10 at night. What about those who are working shifts? And even in in the afternoon, uh, in uh, at certain time, right? If you're working shifts, so what do you do in between? If you can't take public transport, you have to sleep in the uh, hospital or sleep in wherever you are working at. The frontliners, especially, mm. not all, not all of them have their own transport. Arish, yeah, that that that, that no, that's a good point. But I think um, to be fair, and let's look at this at a at a macro level. Eh? Um, I think there is a need to cap um, the hours simply because it serves as a deterrent. Now, um, I think the frontliners will have the exception if they have their proper uh, documentation. The problem is when those who are not in the essential services, they are still going out. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you, including both of you, uh, had seen this video clip of a man who was stopped at a roadblock and he pleaded to the policeman that he needed to get a can of beer because he couldn't sleep. <laughs> he can't sleep if he doesn't drink a can of beer. And, and the policeman actually uh, allowed him to go, which honestly speaking, it is within his right. I mean, whatever he buys is his, his right, you know, so, but yeah, we, but we've got to minimize those kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, movements, you know, if, if uh, you know, that gentleman needs a can of beer to sleep, he should be actually stocking up some beers at home, <laughs> you know, and, and, and just limit the movement. So, yeah, I, I think the directive is more towards, um, you know, telling people don't go out. Right, Greg. Um, we've obviously heard that this is the the from the twenty seventh to what we've been told until about the maybe the fourth or the tenth or something like that. Uh, this this is when the uh, the the COVID nineteen is going to be spread because you know this is when we're going to find out whether people are positive or not. And there's been messages obviously that sent through WhatsApp that to tell people to come in. Is it something that people need to be concerned about or? Uh, what are your thoughts about, you know, should people be going out and what should, should they be doing now, even though we've got more restrictions on on our movements? Best thing is to stay at home, as what the PM had said. I know I want to go out as well, actually, because it's kind of boring just within the four walls or wherever you're staying. But stick to what you need to do. Buy your groceries. Food is very, very important. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, maybe. Well, what I wish is that maybe more bookstores are open because I've run out of books. My daughter has run out of books to read. Oh. So it, I need to buy more books, and so she's reading more of her old books. Mm -hmm. Thank God for e-books, so she's reading that as well. But I, I actually hope that one one thing that I want is a toy store to open because I've read my Uno cards have all gone soggy. <laughs> my kids don't want to play. How, how, they don't want to play. They don't want to play because how, they don't lose all the time. Soggy? <laughs> oh, it's actually an old pack, so they've been playing it for so long, and then now the whole two weeks, we've been playing every night for about two, three hours, so you know, it gets all crumpled and stuff okay. like that. <laughs> okay. So if they, maybe give a leeway, say one day, one day this store is open for those who want to buy games, because you got another two weeks. Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, they're like non-essential stuff. But anyway, <laughs> thanks to the yeah, thanks to the both of you for. Uh, for coming on. Obviously, if uh, any of you would like to find out more about what Greg is uh, writing about, uh, do log on to their website at 2213 right here on the screen and you obviously can see a lot more articles uh, that they've written uh, on their website as well. So if you want to find out what Greg will be writing on April Fool's Day, log on to that website uh, 2213.my and obviously you know you will get those articles there. Guys, thank you very much for joining us on this special edition of the RSS with HD Extended. We'll be able to um, have another edition of that on the next Wednesday. Thank you very much, everyone, and we'll see you again on the RSS with HD Extended.